Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. It's March 10th, 2022. When I'm filming this, minus 24 outside. Yeah, it's cold, but we're getting our Timmy's because it's Timmy Thursday. I just made that event up right now. All hooked up and trucking on the south perimeter here around Winnipeg. Just got to bring all this stuff that I picked up yesterday just barely into the city here. It was quite the mess. It's quite the intricate, detailed load to tie down. Lots of little pieces. There's spools and, oh, ow! Oh! Excuse me, bumpy roads. All kinds of little pieces, spools, crates, little pieces that could fly off. I had to make sure that they wouldn't. It took a while to tie it down quite the masterpiece if I say so myself. This area of the city has quite a bit of snow here. Other places have been cleared out already, but as you can see, uh, you could almost, uh, the, the road signs seem like they've, whoa, my lane is narrowing here, isn't it? They really need to clear that. As you can see, the road signs have been lifted up so you can still see them. Look, this road sign's almost buried. these big snow piles over here this is all a new development in southwestern Winnipeg very nice development it's a very nice uh, very nice spot to be if you can afford to get in here they're all new homes built within the last like five years I'm guessing and they're not uh, they're not small either even these condos or apartment buildings are pretty fancy if I did live in the city, I'd definitely want to live in a neighborhood like this. Whether or not I could uh, could actually swing it, I don't know, but... It seems like a nice, quiet neighborhood. Because you work in a neighborhood like this, or you live in a neighborhood like this, you know everybody here has a really good job to be able to afford to live here, right? So it's going to be a pretty quiet neighborhood during the day, because everybody is going to be going to work. And at night, it's not going to be very loud, there's not gonna be very many obnoxious party neighbors because everybody's gotta to get to bed to wake up in the morning to go to work. So that they can pay for this, right? So it's usually a pretty quiet, safe neighborhood. Everybody's just working hard. I wonder what they're building there. This is the uh, old like LDS meeting place and stuff here, Mormons. Built this fancy little church thing here. Got Mr. Moroni up there at the top, pointing his trumpet at Salt Lake City. If you're ever wondering which direction Salt Lake City is, just find your nearest Mormon meeting place. <laughs> the trumpet's pointing there. I'm pretty sure that's how it is, I don't know. Bishop Grandin. Bishop Grandin Boulevard eastbound. Oh, it's Route 165. I've never known it as 165. And again, you know, I grew up around the Winnipeg area and I've always been delivering stuff in Winnipeg. I've never identified Winnipeg roads by their numbering or their exits by their numbers. I don't know. I always know the street names. Well, we got that stuff off our trailer. Now we're putting other stuff on the trailer, very similar stuff. A little different. The wind out here is uh, grabbing all the snow from the fields, and it's all building up around these snow banks alongside the road and then creeping onto the highway. There's been a couple of circumstances where it comes right across the road already. It's soft snow, so the truck itself is. Uh, it's like a tank, it just poofs right through it. That's how it does it, it just goes poof. But since the wind is going from my right to my left, all of the snow that I'm poofing up is going directly over that lane of traffic that's going the other way. So I have to be careful and slow down when there's traffic coming towards me and there's a snow drift, even like this. That's just a little baby one. 
but there's some bigger ones. Uh, when there's snow drifts like this, because when I drive over them, I kick up snow and I give a whiteout to all the drivers going in the opposite direction as me. And if they're passing me right then, that could cause an accident going the other way. We don't want that, so. There's not much we can do about it, but you know, we can at least slow down and kick up a little bit less snow. Make our poof a little less poofy. See, here we go, like this, this guy. He's got a plow on there. Look at my mirror, how it's just a whiteout beside me. And he's gone. Hope you're okay, bud. It's the best I can do is just slow down and kick up less snow for them. And hopefully they slow down as well. And what else? What else is there, right? Visibility is good for me. I mean, now I'm up higher, I'm in the truck. Got good traction. Now these cars coming towards me here, they don't, uh, I'm not too worried about them. There's no loose snow on the road that I'm kicking up. It should be fine. Oh, yeah, there they go. There you guys go. Have a good day there. Have a good day. Manitoba, man. She's sure making up for all the last few winters that we didn't get much snow at all. It's all coming now. It just never stops. Yikes. All white. Everything you see except for the road right here. <laughs> it's like I'm in another universe or something. Can't see nothing, can't see where I'm going. Can't see what's over there. Can't see what's behind me. Just the road leading through the white nothingness. Welcome to Manitoba. We have to finish delivering this load first thing in the morning. So this is the next morning, Friday right now, uh, March 11th, 2022. And I'm in Great Falls, Manitoba. Not too sure. I think I have to deliver two crates. I have two crates on my trailer for them. I think I have to bring it to one of these buildings over here. Not really sure. Deliveries. Sign right there says delivered this way visitors that way well what if i'm both i'm a delivery guy and a visitor i'm a visiting delivery guy oh that there's a big propeller here uh oh someone lost their propeller oh dear there's another big uh, hydroelectric dam over here that's for the power for my lights comes from well, part of it there's a lot of dams up here in manitoba that's how we produce our energy here almost all completely i think it's 99 percent or maybe even 100 percent hydroelectric power hmm, where are we gonna go hmm i have to find somebody hmm. i don't see anybody around here no vehicles here. I see all the vehicles down there. I'm probably delivering to that building there, but how do I get there?
maybe there's a driveway over here. Got a lot of snow last night again. Of course we did. Had a blizzard overnight. So it looks like they've already cleared this at one point. It's building up again though. Oh yeah, that's where I want to go, down there. Oh, that's a cold wind. Thanks. Why do I have my window open? That's silly. Is this where I want to go? There's a gate here. Huh. Is there a phone by the gate? It's kind of on the downhill slope. I don't want to go down there and then have to back up. I might not be able to back up the hill. Heh. I don't really have a choice, do I? I always find hydroelectric dams just amazing. What an amazing feat of engineering, right? Like, how do you do that? How do you do that? You know, if we were hit by an asteroid and I was left on Earth with like a thousand other people, I wouldn't know how to do that. <laughs> it looks like there's some kind of phone or something right here. I'm going to get a hold of somebody here and then uh, I'll figure this out.